After Amanda Holden was called bitter and pitiful by the judges of Britain's Got Talent, Sharon Osbourne responded angrily. After the two appeared on Celebrity Big Brother, Amanda, 53, intervened in the argument between Simon Cowell and Sharon and Lewis Walsh in an interview. I hated seeing certain people in a reality program dissing Simon, he's the one who's given them all the chances, given them a lot of money and a lifestyle they probably wouldn't have had, Amanda stated. It's pitiful and resentful. It was just stabby, 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 like Cinderella with her two sisters in the backdrop. By clicking this link, you may view the entire Weekend Magazine interview. The 71-year-old Sharon, however, hasn't taken the comments lightly. She turned to Twitter to give the presenter a detailed response, calling her a factually incorrect sycophantic and calling her a ill-informed sycophantic. Amanda, I am replying to your interview. I respect the fact that you feel the need to protect your close friend and employer, Simon Cowell, who is also your husband's employer, or so I've read, started Sharon, 71, writing the post as if it were a letter, but some of the things you've said about me lack factual accuracy. By clicking this link, you may view the entire Weekend Magazine interview. Amanda, I think you're missing the point here, no disrespect to Simon Cowell, but he needed me for musical credibility on X Factor and I delivered for him and together all of us made a terrific team, snarkily said Sharon as she continued to enumerate her amazing feats. The truth is, you don't know me, Amanda, or any of my close friends, Sharon insisted. You have no idea about my accomplishments, my collaborations with musicians, my production of television shows, my family's history in the music business, or my widespread popularity. I in contrast to you, everyone is familiar with Sharon Osbourne's brand. I could work in a lot of nations if I wanted to, but I don't have the time or ambition to do so. Sharon said, Our worlds are totally different, and continued to show off her money and opulent lifestyle. I have had the good fortune to have a wonderful life my entire life that I still have my rural house in England and live in a Beverly Hills mansion that I had before you were even born, but you should be aware of this. I never talk about wealth, lifestyle, or positions of authority. It strikes me as being impolite and crass, but now that you've forced me to tell you, I really don't want to come across as boastful but the reality is that my success and wealth did not result from participating in a few Simon Cowell talent contests. Don't get me wrong. I had a great time performing them at the time. Yes, I was paid handsomely by Simon. I'm sure it's more than what you're getting today, but all of it was spent on a couple purses, my love. At the time that I worked on X Factor, I was the only judge who had global accomplishments with multiple million-selling artists, a Grammy Award winner, and arena and stadium headliners, Sharon added, enumerating her career highlights that I was also a best-selling novelist and producer of the popular television series, The Osbournes. For which I won an Emmy Award, and a very successful festival promoter with Ozfest, which ran for 24 years, Amanda, I believe you're missing the mark here. I mean no disrespect to Simon Cowell, but on X Factor, he needed me for musical credibility, and I provided it. The three of us worked incredibly well together. During their stint on Celebrity Big Brother last month, Sharon and Lewis didn't hold back when it came to speaking their minds and sharing behind-the-scenes information about the entertainment industry. Sharon declared during an episode that she was furious with Simon for allegedly failing to renew her contract when she had anticipated doing so, which caused her to miss out on yet another significant TV job. Although they formerly had the most talked about bromance in Britain, Lewis disclosed that he no longer spoke to his old companion in crime. Amanda remarked, I thought, oh my god, it's like watching a pantomime, regarding the exchange. Simply said, they seem so repulsive and ugly to me, there was a chance and a friendship there. You should, then, be grateful for the chance and the paycheck you were given, regardless of how the business turns out. Just exercise grace. That wasn't there, and I can't stand it. Retaliating sharply, Sharon clarified that her accomplishments and those of her husband's were what made her successful, not Simon Cowell. She went on, saying, I give Simon a lot of credit for what he built, 
he didn't start building his music empire until after several seasons of X Factor. I was already well established in the music business when I met my husband. Having collaborated with a variety of musical acts, including Black Sabbath, Roy Woods, Wizard, Motorhead, Smashing Pumpkins, Gary Moore, The Move, and Lindsay DePaul, you must have forgotten that my husband is a musical giant who has sold 170 million albums, received numerous Grammy Awards, and been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Over the course of our 44 year relationship, he has spoilt me beyond measure and given me more than any other man, all of this before I even knew who Simon Cowell was. In closing, I must say whenever I have seen you on TV I always thought you were very beautiful and talented, Sharon wrote as she signed off. But never criticize my lifestyle, it was handed to me by Simon Cowell. You're portraying yourself as an ignorant sycophantic, which is degrading to me, my spouse, and all of my life's accomplishments. Best regards, Sharon Osborne. For every minute Sharon appeared on air during her stay in the Celebrity Big Brother house last month, she was paid around £7,000. The celebrity was a fan favorite on the show, but when it was revealed that she would only be staying in the house briefly as a lodger and would have her own private room, people were not happy. As previously reported, Insiders claim that Sharon would still receive a whopping £100,000 per day, even if ITV executives were unable to match her enormous request to appear in the show. On Tuesday, during a live eviction program, Sharon eventually bid farewell to the home after nine days of habitation. It appears that ITV had to make a big budgetary investment for each minute Sharon was on air.